I was looking yesterday at the statements at the inauguration, the opening ceremony. What, what an extraordinary progress Absolutely. over the last 15 years Absolutely. when you heard such open a common language. A common language. Yes, and from the most developed to the least, it was uh, it was extraordinary that yeah. now that we see the benefits of trade, more and more people want to buy it because we do realize that it helps everyone from the poorer to the better off. So a lot of these countries good. are not saying we want to get off; they want to get on. Exactly. Well, no one wants out. It Everyone sure. wants yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well done. So, Thank you. Uh, this is the super so, so far, so good. Good. So far, good. good. Inside and this is all outside, so that's uh, that's the way it is. But it's, uh... So, what do you think when you look at all this? Well, it's. Uh, I mean, I think it's. I think it's too bad that this has uh, that this has erupted. Does there need to be some measure of accountability? Yes. And I think the business community recognizes that. But that accountability is in the marketplace. It's with their shareholders. It's with the public perception and the public image that they are projecting. That's, if, if, if companies don't do what they should be doing, they're going to be punished in the marketplace. And that's not what any company wants. Don't find yourself relying on government find yourself relying on trying to create in the marketplace an incentive for corporations to do the right thing. There's a new market. These guys and gals aren't out there because government's putting a gun to their head or because they've suddenly read a book about transcendental meditation and global morality. My inner voice says honor my inner child. Mine says love everyone. My inner voice says I like a Wendy's bacon mushroom out. They're there because they understand the market requires them to be there, that there's competitive advantage to be there. Boy, talk about inner peace. I am listening to your concerns. I worry about climate. I worry about pollution. I do not have all the answers to this, but we are prepared to work with you, with society, with NGOs, with governments to address it. So you rebuild the trust so that you come back to a new kind of trust and then the, the, the ultimate goal is then to become a corporation of choice. He believes that almost half our energy could one day come from renewable sources. He's been called a dreamer and a crank. And I've been called a hippie. And more recently, a project manager for Shell. I ask myself oftentimes why so many companies subscribe to corporate social responsibility. I'm not sure it's because they necessarily want to be responsible in an ultimate way, but because they want to be identified and seen to be responsible. But who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? It's better they belong than not belong. It's better that they make some public profession than, than the opposite. Social responsibility isn't a deep shift because it's a voluntary tactic, a tactic, a reaction to a certain market uh, at this point. And as the corporation reads the market differently, it can go back. 
One day you see Bambi, next day you see Godzilla. How do you define socially responsible? What business is it of the corporation to decide what's so socially responsible? That isn't their expertise. That isn't what uh, their stockholders asked them to do. So I think they're going out of their range and it certainly is not democratic. The only responsible corporation is a subordinate corporation. A corporation where the people running it take orders from the body politic. They don't run the body politic. I don't really care what the chairman of General Motors thinks is an appropriate level of emissions to go out the tailpipe of General Motors automobiles. He may have a lot of scientists, he may be a very good person, but I didn't elect him to anything. He doesn't have any power to speak for me. These are decisions that must be made by government and not by corporations. And it's very dangerous, it's very beguiling to say, why don't we have a philosopher king as a corporate CEO? Let him decide, let the great leader decide. History, it would be very rude with that suggestion. And they would say that power that's accountable to nobody is not really power that we can tolerate in this world. If you take this to its logical conclusion, one would have an image um, that we are, in fact, at, at, at this, at this, the end of the world is nigh, and, and, and we, are, we are all completely brainwashed, and there's no space left, and, 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 and I don't believe we're there yet. And I think it's really important that we don't overstate the case, and that we admit that there are cracks and fissures in all of these corporate structures and sometimes when a corporation is concentrating on one particular project they look the other way and all kinds of interesting things happen in the corner. It is the case in every period of history where injustice based on falsehoods, based on taking away the right and freedoms of people to live and survive with dignity, that eventually when you call a bluff the tables turn. I think it's too simple to say, let's get rid of all corporations and that will solve the problems of the world. There are things that can be done and only can be done, it, it seems, um, when people organize and are at least in part motivated by profit. Uh, and so to my mind, this is a question of, of uh, tendencies run out of control or, or influence well beyond the, the bounds of legitimacy. It's a relationship issue between human beings and our institutions. I believe in that there should be strong governmental controls on these corporations in terms of their behavior, in terms of what they can do. People will say, well, no, that's, that's a different kind of government. Well, what kind of government, what kind of government is that other than a democracy? These companies should be more democratic. The whole economy should be more democratic, meaning that you and I have a say in what's going on. Right now, we have little or no say in what's happening. The structures of transnational economics are, are up and running. They're having good and bad effects all around the world. Lots of bad ones, for sure. But to my mind, it's not whether the effects are good or bad that's the primary question. The primary question is, how do we make them democratically accountable? Because only if we do that can we even assess the goodness or badness and have some influence over it. Well, a group in Arcata is speaking out against corporate power and it's asking for your support. The group called Citizens Concerned About Corporations is organizing a signature drive to get an initiative on the November ballot. The initiative would require the city of Arcata to host two town hall meetings in which participants would discuss large corporations' power structure. It would also require the city to form a committee to advise leaders about corporate policies. I can't think of a better place to be. If this many people around the country would do this instead of watching Super Bowl Sunday, our nation would be controlled by the people, not by the corporations. Yeah. Corporations are not accountable to the democratic process. That's what this is about. I don't want to make decisions about everything that goes on in their corporation, but I do have a strong belief that they need to be held accountable to us. This is our place to live. This is our place. As I understand, Measure F would be to stop in some way, shape, or form, not necessarily punitive, the activities of corporations that cause harm to the citizens of Arcata and the environment.